Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 453. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Upset link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 453 to 457. Hey, uh, last video, 452, we did a commission paid formula, but it did not involve brackets. So here we have some sales amount, and we got to figure out commissions. Ah, but look, there's a graded scale. We can't just say 55,000 like we did in the last video. Come to this bracket right here, take 6% and multiply it by that. Mm -mm. The first 5,000 gets a 0% rate. Then the next 5,000 gets a 0.5% commission rate, etc. This is similar to a tax table. And by the way, I have a video very similar that will show you the uh, tax equivalent of this because tax tables have uh, brackets like this where you have uh, different amounts tax at different rates. Now, the formula for this, if you did not know how to do a uh, VLOOKUP or LOOKUP and have it dynamically change, it would be something ugly like this. Now, some people do it this way when they get a commission. The problem is this is all hard coded in. And if we change this amount right here, that formula doesn't work anyway. It's too big. So what we want to do is uh, we're going to first see how to do VLOOKUP. Now we're going to do a couple, we're going to do three VLOOKUPs in one formula. And I want you to notice, this is a label. I always put labels like this in my tax tables or commission table or, or whatever I'm doing just to help whoever is using this understand. And this is how VLOOKUP works. VLOOKUP always has the less than or equal to pointing to this number. And the, I'm sorry, the, the sales here is in the middle. So the sales are greater than or equal to the lower number, but less than the upper number. No equal sign in the upper number because the equal sign then gets put here. And that's how VLOOKUP works. Start at 0, 5,000, 10,000. Anything that gets assigned that 1% is equal to 10,000 or greater than it all the way up to but not including the next number. This label here just helps explicitly show how VLOOKUP works. All right, now here it is. We're going to have a table here, right? I want you to notice that when we get to VLOOKUP up here, we're going to have to use it three times. And one of the times, we're going to highlight this table, but we're going to be asking for the first column, which is unusual. Usually we ask for the second or the third column. Now let's do this the long way. 55,000, we'd say equals. We go down here. This is the bracket right here. We'd say, oh, the tax from the previous bracket. And that's the trick to this. I'll show you how to make that formula in just a moment. But that's the trick. You have to. You can, don't want to just use these two columns because then the formula would be nasty. You actually calculate the tax. That's 925. I mean, not tax. I'm sorry, commission. I'm so used to doing tax tables. This is commissions. This is the commission from all of the earlier brackets. Okay, so that amount is what we want. Plus, and then in parentheses, we take this amount here minus. <coughs> everything that's um, um, above this amount right here times, and then we'll say our tax rate of 6%. So what this is doing, that's all the commissions from earlier brackets. Their amount for this bracket at 6% is only 5,000, so it's 55,000 minus 50,000. And then we multiply that 5,000 times that 6%. So there is our amount right there. All right, now let's see how to do it with VLOOKUP. Equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value is going to be this, comma, the table array. Now, these labels are just for show, so I'm going to highlight this whole table right here. Comma, and what do we want? What's the first thing we want? We want the thing from the third column. So I'm going to say 3, close parentheses. Now, that'll deliver the 925, but that's not what we want. We have to keep going. Minus. I'm sorry, plus, and then in parentheses we say whatever this is. And now we're going to, um, watch this, I'm going to highlight this and copy, control C. All right, so we have our A3, that's that 55,000. And now we need to do VLOOKUP one column to get to 50,000. So minus, control V, and then change this to a 1. And then finally we have to close parentheses, and we need v, one more VLOOKUP, so I'm going to times. Control V, 
and I'm going to change it to the second because this is the second uh, in the second column we want this six percent control enter now the beautiful thing about this is if I change this to uh, 32,000 that one updates perfectly but that one does not now um, I want to show you the lookup function and this is how I usually do this for commissions or uh, taxes this formula is fine Mo the vast majority of people use VLOOKUP and that's that's the end of the story but VLOOKUP will allow us uh, um, to type in three fewer arguments and will highlight uh, uh, tables that are not as big that are bigger or smaller each time so you ready equals lookup the lookup by default will only do approximate match that means this has to be sorted ascending uh, and we can get away without putting our last argument. Remember we had two column, one column, three column. All right, so our lookup table. Well, the first value we want is um, in the third column. So I'm going to highlight, oops, sorry. The lookup value is right there, comma. The array for us, or a lookup vector, but lookup vector would require uh, the lookup vector and then the result vector. We have an array here, so we're going to highlight this. Or by the way, that argument array just means you could put an array in here. Ranges are defined, are part of the definition of an array. So there it is. But by default, lookup always takes the last column. So we don't have to say last column because it will automatically take that third column. All right, you ready? So that will deliver the 325, which is that right there. I'm going to copy. We're going to do our same little trick plus open parentheses this and then minus but watch this instead of having this range right here all the way to the third I'm just gonna highlight the first column because by definition lookup doesn't require that third argument if you look at it, it always takes the last column well if we only give it one column it's gonna take that alright so close parentheses and then times control V that's the lookup and here we don't need the whole table would just need these um, two columns because it'll take always the last column. All right, so there it is. And then if we change this back to 55,000. Now the whole trick here was to calculate uh, this formula right here. So for any bracket, we say, hey, take this 10,000 minus whatever the previous, that's the difference between the two, times that tax rate right there plus whatever the previous bracket was and that formula we add to our lookup table and that's uh, the trick that allows us to use just three lookups or three VLOOKUPs instead of some monster formula up here. Alright, um, we'll see you next trick.